and Jews, predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you a heart, look, there's a heart. I hear the horn on to Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you look. Welcome back to the CMTV final episode for us seniors. I'm Jaden, and with me today is Haley and Colin. It's amazing how quick this year went. We've covered a lot of topics throughout this district. Okay. Yes, we begin this segment with a recap of an annual tradition, the play. However, due to COVID this year, Ms. Harkin had to come up with a different approach. Here's Olivia with a recap of how it went down. The 2021 High School Drama Club production of Grease was one for the books. A year of uncertainty and restrictions. They performed their first ever outdoor performance by using pod socially distant lawn chair seating and clear masks. The cast was able to deliver a joyous dynamite show that the community loved. The weather was beautiful and the cast was top notch, making it a dream come true. Unfortunately, we're losing some of our beloved seniors this year. They are Rosario DiStefano, Bella Montesano, Kylie Miller, Haley Harrimsdorf, Ian Himmelstein, Caitlin McCormick, Sarah Chernis, Logan Jakubowski, and Jillian Schrey. A very fond farewell to them, and congratulations on a job well done. We bid farewell to the seniors and welcome our middle school performers, who will be the future of our drama club. Hats off to the entire cast for pulling off this show and making it so memorable. The show must go on again until next year. Remember, Greece is the word. Congratulations to all who helped make the play an historical event. I would also like to congratulate the Center Merchants Music Department for winning the NAMM's Best Community Music for Education Award for the fourth year in a row. Continuing with the arts, the high school hosted a virtual art show last month. Here's Caroline to tell us more about it. pretty impressive what some of our students are capable of doing. Here's Kevin with what's going on at the elementary school. In room 10, Ms. Damara and Ms. San Filippo have been immersing the students in poetry unit to the full extent. The students have been working on listening to a variety of poems and choosing their own styles of poems to create. The students have designed their own poet's eye to use when looking at objects through an abstract and concrete perspective. The students have designed and generated multiple wonderful poems over the course of three weeks to celebrate poetry. That's pretty impressive what our younger students have been able to do. Continuing with the theme of impressive, the Unkinchog Nation held their annual visit to Santa Merchants where they were able to showcase their Native American exhibition of song and dance. Here is Serena with what it has been all about. CMTV was there to film a production, what has become a valued part of our Santa Merchants School District tradition the Native American Exhibition of Song and Dance, presented by the Unkachog Nation. Due to the pandemic, this event was almost canceled. Knowing that this exhibition was too important to the school community to miss, some creative altering had to take place. For example, in order to respect COVID restrictions, there were less participants and it could not be performed live. Understanding the restrictions, Mrs. Novice asked Mr. Mishler, the CMTV production recorded this great event so that it could be shared with not only the CM students, but the entire district community. With the collaboration of tribal members, CM admin, and staff, the CMTV production team is now able to present a historical journey of cultural pride in this year's presentation of Native American Exhibition of Song and Dance on their YouTube channel at Santa Merchis TV. It's that time again. Time for our final installment of College Commits with Adam. Here's Adam with our next group of seniors. I was asking to be talking to, to Ian O'Neill. So tell me, what school are you going to? I'm going to the United States Military Academy. Nice to go to the military. 
What are you studying? Uh, probably going to study nuclear engineering. What do you like about the college? I like how I have the opportunity to join the military after college and that it's free. Awesome. Thank you for your time and good luck. How is Allison TV speaking with our vibes for Jesse DeMeo? To tell you, what school are you going to commit to? I am committed to Georgia Tech. What are you going to study? I'm going to study biomedical engineering. What are you going to look forward to most of college? I am looking forward to uh, meeting new people and uh, pursuing my dreams. Congratulations to Jesse and Aiden. I know both of you will be destined for success. We now move to Ms. Cavanaugh, who partnered with Mr. Winslow's peer leadership class and discussed character education with the middle school. Here's Shay with how it went. For the month of May, various high school students in Mr. Winslow's peer leadership class presented a lesson which they created for the middle school students on the word of the month, which was principled. The lesson so centered around making good decisions, taking responsibility for their actions, and, and being assertive in situations involving right and wrong. Okay? They also focused on proper cell phone use, road, social media, anti-bullying, and, and the benefits of being a peer leader. So we have found that the younger students, students in the middle and elementary school relate know. to the high school students and enjoy learning from their older peers. They played games, presented PowerPoints, engaged in discussions, and did some writing activities. The lessons included PowerPoints, videos, activities, and class discussions on the word of the month. The lesson is to complement the theme of the month. The objective is for students to learn how to apply these traits into their daily lives, both in and out of school. The goal is to enhance the overall social and emotional well-being of students as they grow into adulthood. In spite of COVID-19, we've had a pretty impressive run with our athletic teams. Currently, all of our spring teams are in the playoffs. Here's Christian with a quick recap of how some of the teams are doing. This spring proved to be quite a success for our sports teams. Boys lacrosse and baseball both competed for Suffolk County Championships, while girls lacrosse and softball captured Suffolk Championships. However, the girls softball also won the Long Island Championship this June. Congratulations to both Coach Ramundi and Coach Roberts on your seasons. We're looking forward to seeing what next year will bring with all of our sports programs. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of CMTV. I would like to thank everyone for watching this year, and it's been a lot of fun. We've had some fun times over this year, and we'd like to remind you to continue to follow us on YouTube at Centermerch TV. Thank you to all the teachers for letting us report and interrupt your classes. Yes, thank you for your patience. I'm Colin, and from Haley and Jaden, it has been a pleasure reporting to you. Stay safe, everyone.